All right. With, uh, with the honor, and I want to say with the honor this morning to have to have Randy Owen from Alabama, who started Country Cares a long time ago, taking some time out to talk to us. Randy, good morning. Good morning. How are y'all doing? And, you know, we are doing so good. It was a great honor to see you and your family, uh, you know, there in Memphis back in January and to talk with your daughter and yeah. to set things up today. And I was just hoping that maybe, you know, share a little bit about what's going on in St. Jude and your involvement and, of course, uh, you know, uh, everything that you're well, still I doing. i tell you the first thing happened to me this morning. My grandson leaves me a message every morning on the way to school. So he sang the national anthem for me this morning and sent it to me. So, wow, that was uh, that was interesting. That uh, six-year-old trying, you know, putting his stamp on the the national anthem. That was cool. So that is incredible. Uh, but anyway, no, we had a you know, it's a great audience, a great crowd, and people that care about children there in Memphis. And of course, obviously, y'all are a huge part of that. So I. I thank you for that. Yeah, well, you know what? I sure do thank you for everything that you're doing, too, my brother. Now, you know, and there's so much good stuff that's going on with St. Jude. Now, you you started this Country Cares. Now, how long has it been? 26 years now? 20, yeah, basically. 25 plus, yeah. But, you know, it's uh, it seems like it's been a short period of time and, and until I start looking at and meeting some of the little babies that I met, uh, you know, 25 years ago, and now they're grown ladies and gentlemen. So. <laughs> right, right, exactly. You know, and thank God for that, because that's what we're after is for, for them to survive and, and live a healthy, normal life. And, you know, it's so vitally important. I know that, you know, you work with a lot of different country artists and everything, and there's so many people that give. And, and you know, it's it's really awesome because, I mean, you and I have been able to have, you know, lunch together and just kind of sit down. And, right. and you know, we're just we're, it's just common folks here just trying to help each other along. And as you say, to let these babies live. And, you know, Tori Shelton is, is a St. Jude patient right here who graduated from one of the local uh, high schools two years ago. And she just had a little baby girl two weeks ago. Yay. <laughs> That is wonderful. Congratulations to her. And, and you know, and that's what it's all about. Yes. It, it really is. So, Randy, um, I, I don't want to keep you too long, but if you get an opportunity to give us a holler later on, I know you're busy out there on the ranch and everything else. Feel free. If, 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 if you're kicking back, relaxing, you know, you got my number, feel free to call any time. But right now, can you maybe just kind of close us up with something to leave people uh, with the thought of why they really need to call in and, and what's so important about St. Jude? Well, St. Jude, of course, the uh, research, the thing that Danny Thomas emphasized to me uh, early on many years ago uh, was that St. Jude is a research hospital. Uh-huh. It's, they, they don't just treat. Uh, it's, it's the research that's done there, and the protocols that's developed there are freely shared with people all over the world, which makes it, uh, you know, if you donate dollars to St. Jude, then you're donating basically to the world. Mm. You're, you're not just donating to St. Jude because, you know, they're very careful about how they spend their money. They're, they're very, uh, you know, prudent about they don't waste money. It's not a charity where it's uh, they blow stuff out of the water and it, it don't really go where it's supposed to go. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I'm very proud of what they do and what they have done and what what the future holds because they're, you know, you meet those brilliant scientists, doctors, nurses, people that work there, and you realize that, you know, uh, the best of care is being given, and yet that's not good enough for them. They want to do even better. Well, you know, that's one of the things that amazes me, you know, when uh, when we're sitting there in our manager's uh, luncheons, if you will, and we hear the CEO of St. Jude Children's Research Hospital say, I want to be out of a job. <laughs> right. Well, that was, that was Danny Thomas's goal. Right. Right. So, I mean, it's just incredible. And, you know, I want to say thank you to you of a song that we always get to sing back there, and that's Angels Among Us, because that has got to be one of the most awesome songs you know, I mean, people have been loving Well, you know, uh, that's, that song, it, it blesses me and my family as much as it does the people that listen to it. And the good part about that, too, is there is a live version that we recorded in Atlanta at the Fabulous Fox we didn't know we had. 
and then we put out the uh, the new CD, uh, and uh, I said to the people, I said, Would it, wouldn't it not be awesome if there was a live version? Because uh, the song has evolved over the years. I mean, honestly, we didn't know the song would be that popular. We hadn't. We knew we loved the song, but we didn't know it was going to be a song that literally changed uh, our career and changed people's lives. But that version uh, is alive and well on on a CD of the live version. Mm. Uh, the way that we actually perform it on stage now, and of course, you know. Me, I, I continually change songs <laughs> because I get bored with the same arrangement every time. But, but uh, not in where it doesn't just take away from the song. But sure. It, it, it's, a, it's a very powerful song, and I'm just very grateful that, uh, that I got to sing the song and still get to sing the song. And it means uh, so much to people. And when it means a lot to people, it, it makes what I do seem more worthwhile, you know. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And you know what's really neat, too, Randy, is that it seems like there's more and more people that's getting, and I'll just say on the bandwagon, if you will, for St. Jude. You know, we see a lot of the, uh, you know, uh, in sports and, and other types of music now besides uh, just country. Sure. And that just well, does Well, that's one good. of the things they asked me about. Uh, I remember having him many years ago, and I said, you know what? My deal is with country radio. That's where we started. But the more people that get involved, you know, we're talking about it's not a selfish thing for Randy Owen. It's a thing for sick children and cancer doesn't care uh, what language you speak or what color you are, what ethnic background. I mean, it's I mean, we're out to whip cancer. We're we're not out to whip, you know, whip up our egos. Right. right. And, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of different. As a matter of fact, I'm just talking to a lady uh, before we start talking. And she's from the state of Kentucky, and her daughter uh, has been involved uh, in a very special thing with a fundraiser with uh, beauty shops. And uh, she was wanting to know how to get in touch with the folks at St. Jude because they wanted to change the charity over to St. Jude. And I said, well, a lot of people are doing that because they see the results Mm. that are real and... uh, and she said, you know, I knew that you were involved. And and so, you know, it's it's very uh, meaningful to me to know that people uh, are still caring and they still go out to help, you know, their fellow man and, and the families that are suffering. And, you know, cancer, that's a terrible thing about cancer is it doesn't affect just the patient. When you have, when a, a child has cancer, the family is literally sick. Mm-hmm. It affects everybody, the grandparents, everybody that loves that child, it affects them very directly. And then in, in an indirect way, it affects, you know, the, the children that it goes to school with or that it grew up with or, or whatever. And it's so, you know, we're out uh, trying to whip cancer and, and get uh, cures that are still out there that I know the scientists are working on. Mm-hmm. Outstanding, and that's what it's all about. So that's why, folks, we ask you all day long today for 13 hours straight to give us a call at 1-800-343-4077 and just become a partner in hope along with us. And, again, that number is 1-800-343-4077. Randy, I'm going to let you get going, my friend. I know you got things to do. And, and again, I appreciate you. I appreciate everything that you continuously do to uh, help these kids and also to be such a huge part of radio and uh, growing up with your music as well. So thank you, my brother. All right, I appreciate it so much, and you have a wonderful day. And for everybody that's listening, uh, you know, it's time to be a giver, and that means giving to help the children at St. Jude. You can never invest money in any better way ever than to help save the life of children. All right. Thank you. Well, God bless you, my brother, and your family, and uh, do well, and we will talk again soon. Thank you, sir. All right. Talk to you later, Randy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now.